Welcome back everyone, I'm Shortcut Sherry and it's another Tip Tuesday. Today's tip is about building your header in your SharePoint pages, specifically in a SharePoint communication site. The header of your page is your opportunity for your first impression. And it should invite your visitors to come in and be interested in the content that you want to share. They say pictures can speak a thousand words and your header is your first opportunity to speak to your visitor. Let's look at some of the options that we have for our header in a SharePoint page. First, I'm gonna click the Edit button in the upper right-hand corner, and then edit the header. Four different options for your header. You have image and title, plain, color block, and overlap. Depending on which layout you choose, you have different options for alignment and text that you can add to that header. I would encourage you to be consistent in the headers across your organization so that people know that they're in the right place and use an image that draws people in and gives the purpose of the page. This is our employee hub. So this is a perfect picture that's free. It came from the stock images and displays people in a diverse way. Let's look at the image and title. The options in alignment are left or center. You can also put title above the text. I often see this as a way that people display their mission statement. However, it's very short. We only have about 52 characters in that little string. Show the text block above the title, toggles that text on and off. The publish date and showing the background gradient. The gradient makes it easier to see the text, especially for accessibility reasons, but in a darker image, it might hinder that. Alternative text is for those e-readers, for people that may have accessibility issues. So let's use alternative text. Those are our options for the image and title layout. If we change it to plain, we just have the title. Color block overlays that information into the color block and expands the header, so it does take up more space on your page. Overlap is kind of a good combination between the two because you have less of a picture but more information. Something else that happens is that the page automatically adds the person who created the page as the author of the page. If this is a generic site and that's not important, you can remove them or replace them completely with another person. When you publish the page, if there's nobody designated, this will not show. Again, in each of the different options, you can change the alignment, you can show the text above the title, you can show the publish date. So pick the options that invite your people in. Notice at the top, it says your page has been saved. It periodically saves the pages for me, or I can save it as a draft. Build out your page, and when you're ready to go, you can publish the page so other people can view it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I'll be back next week with another great tip. In the meantime, check out these great events that we have coming up. And until next time, I'm Shortcut Cherry, and it's my job to make your job easier.